Morning everyone. Welcome to uh, Captain Chaos's bloody nightmare of a house. And uh, so what we're doing here today is I'm just having a bit of a bit of a paint ski on the old uh, on um, what's his name? Fogel, not Fogel, Sharky. <laughs> Sharky Ward. Yeah, there you go. I know I'll get there in the end. So yeah, so there we go. So we've managed to get some base colours on him. Just adding a few dark, dark area touches to his beard, and I can only go by <coughs> when I had my own beard as to uh, where the dark patches usually were, which was around here uh, in depth. And then this can all be lightened up at some point. So there we are. Oh God. You'll have to excuse the big mouths of the family. Now we'll turn him upside down. Oh, God. It's the boy's birthday today, so you'll have to excuse the exciting screaming if he ever gets a, another present or something. So, yeah. But anyway, here we go. So this is a, um, a mix of Tamiya paint. Get it on his beard here. Give, give his beard some full colour first, so that reaches into the. Oop! And then we're going, going off screen here, so it re, basically it's reaching into the. into like all the crevices. I've only really got a tiny little brush. This was a Tamiya brush, but I can't remember what, what brush it was. And then we've got some eyebrows up here, so just. Trying to do this and sort it on there. Conversations you have at home, yeah, and they don't realise that you've got a camera on. Makes me laugh. Right, that's the end of that one. So I'll move on to another part. So I'm going to go a bit lighter now, so XF52, you'll probably find this another made up. Yeah, it's a little bit made up, so let's just mix it up in there in the lid, just to where I want to go with this, and roll it off in the tissue. And as you can see, all I'm basically doing is just dragging the brush over the top of the hair so the brush kind of lays flat, flat on the thing. I don't know any blokes have a... And... And then, and then underneath... A bit lighter <coughs> around by where the lips are. It's going a bit in and out of focus, isn't it? It's because I'm I've got these naff glasses on. Really do need to get my other sight tested. Oh. 
always get a cotton bud and roll them off of it. It's a bit of thinners on this, so let's just roll it over and see if I can take most of that. There you go. Probably made a bit of a mess of him now. I don't know, he's not too bad. Yeah, I can. thing in the world to do but there we go so now um what we're gonna use now oh bollocks right another lighter shade of brown or joint pain, you must see this. An award-winning doctor reveals an astonishing natural way to restore healthy joints in record time. Did you know that arthritis has nothing to do with the joint itself? A shocking link between arthritis... Right, it's just concentrating on his beard and moustache. Beard and moustache, really. A few flecks in it. That's what he's, that's kind of what he's looking like at the moment. I'm going to see the Oh, nice. He's got a little parachute man. So his mate next door has come round. <gasps> Oh, it's going to be chaos. Oh, oh, I guess the parachute man works. Yep, the parachute man works. <laughs> He's six. Bless him. Six today. Met the bloke, but I think I'm doing him a good turn. Right now, let's start to darken up a few of the skin tones around here. Again, this is too much. Those cheeks. moment I think you look I think he's he looked a bit dead <laughs> <laughs> oh dude you took about put yourself off uh, and then we go up on the up on the roof up on his forehead and go across there as well down the Middle and then down his nose. There you go. They will they will look terribly wrong when they're, <coughs> they're done under um, light like this because the, the colours tend to get a little bit bleached out. 
I'm going to add a bit more pink to him at the moment. Just see if I can try and swell <laughs> that awful dead look. In real, in real life here, he doesn't look too bad. But on the camera, he looks bloody awful. So there we go. So if I... Off the camera. Uh, so this paint I'm using is pretty thin down. Yeah, there's not a lot of there's more thinners in it than paint really. And I'm just using it as a so um Get it in underneath there, there. reddish pink. Now I did get a red out, but where the heck and this ain't it because this is like a purple colour mixed up. Bad accent. Oh my god, I've just got to look for this little bit of red. <coughs> Put him over there for a minute. So we smash the place up. Now the red I normally use would be a red paint but in this particular case we'll use another red and the two, it's funny because they're both clear reds one's a tanner the other ones are Mr. Carl. You'll be surprised at the clarity in the both because they're um, they are like a funny clear red. That's a clear clear red. And although that's a clear red, isn't it? You can see it's not that clear. But even when you shake them up. So We'll kind of go for this one first, the Tamiya one, and let's see if we can just get a little bit of pink going into this. dry brushing this. So if this goes out of focus but
Oh, we got off camera again. So he's still going to look a little bit more like what he's supposed to look like. Those claws. For his old lips, mm -hmm. it's like a bit of pink.
is that idiot? Is that Bonnie? Gee, I forgot who's on, <laughs> on camera there. That idiot screaming. Getting excited. Right. That's it. The only other thing I've got to do now is just run around the... I have to do this close to my chest because I can't uh, get in, but basically it's just... Running around the back of his neck. Um, I suppose he's going to take a bit of this tape off. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> That's what I was doing, that bit in there. And then I've just got a, <clears throat> a little bit of tape to take off to do the other side. And just pump that up a bit. And let's see what I can do here. Juice in the front. And then, I just need to make that. I don't know why it's always your bottom lip looks pinker than your top lip. Let go, you son of a bitch. Anyway, that's that. So that's that. And then... Uh, let's get the basis of his eyes. So, there's... If you ever look at anyone's eyes, they're never white. They're never, uh, Just, I don't know, just go over it a bit. Mix up a bit of red again. Just to get a bit more pink under his eye. Just a little bit, not much. So, we've got here. This is going to be best, the best one. He's trying to get that thin line in 
between his lips. If you're listening to the background conversation, it's about McDonald's and the missus is just about to drop herself in the shit. <laughs> such but hang on carers I'm just going to quickly do something off, off road off camera he's just sorting his nostrils out there yep I do his eyebrows back in. Expert at this first of a bus, um, wobbling around like a fat tart on ice skates with it. So, yeah, for all of that to dry now. Um, and then it's a case of playing his eyes. But what I wish I hadn't done <coughs> was in that eye there. <coughs> I tried to see how well a, um, a Sharpie would do it. But um, yeah, it kind of a bloody user really. Poxy Sharpies, they're a good they're a good source of doing something but at the same time they could be a pain in the arse and a thorn in your side so that's where we are with him right now. I'm just gonna uh, shut these pots up and uh, so I don't knock them a lot over and end up looking like a an artist's palette multi coloured this lot on. Get a little bit there mopped up. Oh, <laughs> Just for a moment there. I thought old Fergal, not Fergal, fucking Fergal Sharky. I thought old <laughs> Sharky was going to come round and head bars because look, he's here on a 
on a stick. I went, if I just zoom out, and he swung round <laughs> and then he hit me in the nut. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Been the only time I would have. <laughs> Bus, Clive, it's just a bus. Right, there we go. So that's him. That's uh, Mr. Sharky Ward there. So all I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll, I'll finish off his face with some, probably with some of these, you know, weathering powders. They're not bad. You know, I've got a few of them. So I'll finish off with a few little touch ups on the pink on the face. Uh, see if I can get another video. But um, let's, let's reveal him because obviously I've. I've finished the painting of the chops. So, let's take his sticker staff off. Sticky tape, or masking tape, whatever you call it. <coughs> and, uh, oop, got up in the wire. And then. So there he is. So when you see him like this, the, the colours tend to blend in a bit better. So um, this whole visor cap has got to go like a satin black. And then I've got to heavy bronze green the vest. And I noticed that their, their uh, waistcoat with all the pouches on. Uh, um, here, this thing here. This was of uh, a bronze green as well. So I need to darken that down a bit. So I'll probably put a very thin color. And this was kind of a bronze green because it was a different color from their uniform their, or their flight out coveralls. Um, and then this was supposed to be black round here, uh, which I didn't think I had one. And then this gentleman popped up, semi glossed black, <gasps> the savior of the day. Otherwise, it would have looked like his neck all gloss black. So I'll, um, I'll go over there, and then we'll do his strap, which is a funny sort of sage green colour. So I might add a, a tiny hint of brown to that. Um, so yeah, so it's um, it's getting there. But let's uh, should we say that this is um, was uh, the first look I we'll say was part one to show you what it looked like, and then we'll say this is part two. Of um, I'm off again. Why do I keep going to call him Fergal Sharky? He was a singer, wasn't he? Yeah, Fergal Sharky. I'm sure he was. Anyway, Sharky Ward. Sharky Ward, ladies and gentlemen. And um, what we'll do is we'll carry on with him. And um, in part three, uh, we'll see where I'll go. No, I don't know. Because so what I do is I get carried away and I end up spraying all this off camera because it's not the easiest thing to do with my little iPhone set up here. Is it Sharky? No, not really. <laughs> so um, anyway, but um, yeah, that's him done. So and other highlights in the beard, um, and we'll see if we can get it to blend out a bit because uh, and. Um, because the one colour photograph I have seen of him, and he had a really deep orangey brown beard. So the one thing I'm thinking of doing is to get this beard to stand out, is to add some clear orange, really thin down clear orange, and see where we end up with it. But um, but that's him now. So that's part two finished. And then um, we'll crack on with part three, and we'll see where we end up. Um, shame he's got no badges but you know when again if this was taken when he was in the Falklands War if this was modelled on that um, I don't think they had any badges on they used to take them all off in war so nobody could recognise who they were or where they came from <coughs> but in the meantime there he is Mr Sharky Ward how do it and ladies <laughs> right on that note We'll see you again soon.
Bye for now. Ta-da!